Okay, very exciting video today. Have you ever wanted that low launch, high spin wedge shot that all the pros seem to have? We're gonna talk about how you can get it today, and we've got a very special guest to help us, so let's go. Hey guys, welcome to the Mobile Club Maker. I'm AJ, hope you're having a wonderful day. So we have a very exciting video today because not only are we gonna be talking about getting you that low launch, high spin wedge shot, but we have a very special guest who's gonna be helping us out today who I'm gonna introduce in just a minute. So it is gonna be an exciting day. Also, at the end of this video, make sure you watch through the whole thing because I'm gonna be giving away one of these wedges. So definitely stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so here's someone, probably doesn't need any introduction, you've probably seen him all over YouTube, but I needed someone who can hit the wedges, has a really good short game to help me with this test. And really, who's better than Mr. Short Game? Matt Fisher right here. So welcome, Matt, to the channel. Thank you for being here. Thanks, AJ. Uh, excited. Um, hopefully, I can live up to the, uh, the hype. Uh, I think I think you will. I've seen I've seen the swing. I've seen the ball flight. I think this is going to go really well. So we've got a couple wedges here. These wedges, and Matt hasn't even seen these wedges before. First look. These are sand wedges, 57 degrees. They are identical in every single way. One of them comes with what I would call the standard wedge shaft. That if you go buy any wedge off the rack at a golf store, most of them are going to come with it, which is just your dynamic gold S400 wedge shaft. Now that's a great shaft and it works really well for a lot of people, but we are going to pick, uh, compare that, do a little contest with that shaft and then a second shaft, which I'm not going to tell you too much about it right now. We're just going to go, we're going to start hitting some balls, we're going to see what happens and then we can dive into the numbers, dive into what the differences maybe are. Also before we really get into this video, I just want to say a quick thank you to Howard Jones. He is a incredible club maker fitter just wealth of knowledge when it comes to equipment and how golf clubs work and he has been instrumental in uh, helping me with the ideas and putting this video together so I want to say a big thank you to Howard okay so Matt's warmed up and now we're gonna go into the actual testing so he's gonna be hitting sort of the stock setup wedge first and then we will move into the modified tour style wedge we're hitting Pro V1 balls we've got it on TrackMan and GC2 so we should have plenty of good data to look at and see how the spin and launch numbers look Okay, so Mr. Short Game just hit the stock setup wedge. Uh, I'm gonna put those numbers as far as what he got for the data on those shots up. And now we've just switched over to the modified shaft, right? So this is the, this is the top secret shaft. So we're gonna see if we get that lower launch, higher spin shot with this new setup. So let's look. I want to give a big, big thank you to Mr. Short Game, who came out here Great and stuff. did all our testing for us. Again, if you don't know Mr. Short Game, you can find his channel on YouTube, Mr. Short Game. He's going to be giving away this wedge right here on his Instagram Instagram, account. yeah. So check him out there, and you can possibly win this wedge. Okay, first things first, we know that this is a dynamic gold S400 wedge shaft, which is similar to what you get off the rack in so many wedges. But what was that modified shaft we were testing against it? Well, guess what? It's also a dynamic gold shaft, but it's got two key differences. The first one being, while this is a stiff flex, that other shaft was actually an extra stiff. The second difference, this shaft is basically the wedge shaft. It's the shaft you would install made for a wedge head. The other shaft was actually the shaft made for an eight iron. 
So while this club has a stiff flex wedge shaft, our modified club had an extra stiff eight iron shaft. And we'll get back to why that was important and what's going on with that. But first, let's look at the results. Let's look at the numbers we got from Mr. Short Game hitting these wedges. Now remember, these clubs were identical in every way. They had the same loft, they had the same lie, they had the same head, they had the same grip, same length, same swing weight. The only difference was the two different shafts and there was a very slight total weight or static weight difference because that eight iron shaft is a little bit lighter. But everything else was identical. About an 80 mile an hour club head speed on average. The S400 shaft, the stock setup shaft, gave us an average spin of 54.67 and it gave us a launch angle of 34.75. The X100 eight iron shaft gave us a backspin average of 65.78 and it gave us a launch angle of 30.73. Okay, so just switching between that S400 wedge shaft and moving into that X100 eight iron shaft, we saw the backspin go up over a thousand and we saw the launch angle come down basically about four degrees. Now, just to give you a little bit more information, before I did this test, I went out to the range just to do a little proof of concept and I found another golfer, very good golfer, very strong golfer, probably was averaging something like, uh, he was in the mid 170s with his driver ball speed, so a very you know, strong golfer. Had him do the same test just to sort of see what kind of numbers we got. And let me just show you those, again, because this is at a little bit different speed. His average speed was probably more in the 86, 88 mile an hour range with these wedges. For him, with the S400 shaft, we were spinning it at 45.69 with a launch angle of 35.9. And when he moved to the X100 shaft, the spin jumped up to 86.04 and the launch angle dropped down to 31.6. So that's around 4,000 RPMs that the spin went up. And again, the launch angle went down around four degrees. Okay, why is the X100 eight iron shaft launching lower, but spinning more? Let's see if we can do this in under two minutes, right? So first thing to understand, the X100 shaft, even in the eight iron, is stiffer than this wedge shaft in the stiff flex. I put it on the frequency meter, compared the two, and it's about seven cycles uh, higher. So it's a little bit stiffer. It's not as stiff as it would be if we use the wedge shaft, so it still has a little bit of feel to it, but it's definitely stiffer than this wedge shaft. Now, why is that important? Well, anytime you swing a golf club, what happens? The head of the golf club is gonna want to try and lead the handle at impact, right? The more flexible the shaft or the stronger the swing of the person, the more you can get of that forward deflection. So what ends up happening is the more flexible shaft at impact presents a higher loft and likewise presents a higher launch angle. Now you would think high launch angle should equal high spin, but guess what? That's not how it works with the modern golf ball and with wedge heads, because it's really hard to compress the modern golf ball, especially when you're talking about the glancing blow that you're giving with a wedge, right? You're not really thwacking directly into the ball. It's more of an undercut. So yes, you have a higher launch angle, but you're not compressing the ball when you have that higher launch angle and the ball just kind of pops up in the air. So what you're really needing to do is deliver a little bit less loft, right? The lower the loft, the flatter the face gets, the more you can compress the golf ball. And it's that compression of the golf ball that's actually gonna give you better spin. So while the more flexible shaft will launch the ball higher, the spin number just sort of flutters out basically. Whereas the lower launch that you get when the shaft is stiffer and not giving you as much forward deflection compresses the ball more and gives you a lower launch but with higher spin. Okay, so what are the big takeaways from this video? Well, first off, I don't want you to think that I'm telling everybody all of golf to go buy X100 Dynamic Gold eight iron shafts and put them in your wedges because the fact of the matter is most golfers don't need anything nearly this heavy and nearly this stiff, right? Most golfers are not going to be playing 130 gram shafts in their irons these days. I think most are probably in that 80 to 100 gram range. So 
If you've got 80 gram shafts in your irons, it doesn't make sense to have 130 gram shafts in your wedges. You ideally want something similar to what's in those irons or maybe 10 grams heavier, but a similar weight profile. Now from there, you can take exactly what we did here and apply it to whatever setup you've got. So if you have 100 gram regular flex shafts, find the 100 gram stiff flex shaft in the 8 iron and put that in your wedges. If you've got 80 gram senior flex graphite, you can find the 80 gram regular flex 8 iron shaft and put that in your wedges. It's going to give you the same kind of results. Now, of course, you're not necessarily going to see the same spin numbers that we're talking about here, especially when we got into the high speed player. We're not going to see, you know, 4,000 RPM difference with someone going between a, a light flex and a regular flex, but you will see a difference. All right, I'm going to be pulling the shaft out of this wedge and installing another X100 dynamic gold shaft in here. And then I'm going to be giving it away to one of you. So if you want to win this wedge, I'm going to give it away through my Instagram page. So you want to go over there and make sure you're following me on Instagram. Also make sure that you're subscribed to my channel here on YouTube. Once again, I want to thank Mr. Short Game for helping us out today at the range. We had a lot of fun. I will leave a link down in the description to his channel, but definitely check him out if you haven't. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please go down below, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you know when I post new videos. I am on Instagram, so check me out there at Mobile Clubmaker. I'm also on Patreon. You can find me there at AJ Golf. Take care. We will see you next time. Bye.